Continuing coverage tonight of the overcrowding at the Nueces County Jail right now, right now, it's at 98% capacity. And that is why Sheriff Jason Hooper is asking for people or for help from the commissioner's court. All this coming after the county jail recently found itself in some hot water, let's just say, with the state. Tonight, our Ron Hemme has details on the sheriff's proposed plan. Nueces County Commissioners agreed to transfer inmates to Aransas and Victoria counties. The jail was recently deemed non-compliant by Texas Commission on Jail Standards after failing their most recent inspection on June 17th. When the inspector came through a couple of weeks ago, we were at 100 percent. And we did, in fact, get a notice of non-compliance that was based on elements created by overpopulation. Commissioners agreed to pay Aransas County $74 a day per inmate, $60 in Victoria. That would be 40 inmates that would be carefully selected, and of course it, it would have to be agreed upon that these are the type of inmates that they would accept. Hooper says prolonged criminal trials are leading to jail overcrowding. And the most significant thing to be done is for the courts to start moving again hearing some cases. When they start hearing cases, whether it's in front of a judge or in front of a jury, other inmates will plea. Transferring 40 inmates would cost the county roughly $80,000 a month. The county judge says she plans to meet other judges to come up with alternative solutions to this issue. Thank you for getting this accomplished. Um, but, it's, but it's not it's not in our uh, best interest uh, to not think of other ideas and other plans. This is just, as they say, the immediate need. And um, we have to have these in place so that we can have options. The state notified Nueces County they have until the end of the month to fix their current jail situation. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Iran Hammy, Chris 6 News.